I get to the airport, make all the interviews over with Jack Mano, I get to the airport. The girl goes, where's your passport? I said, I haven't got a passport. I didn't know to bring one. I didn't know I was leaving here. They didn't tell me I was needed a passport. And I always carried it, but I didn't need it to go there. They gave the chick 500 bucks. They take me to the Sheridan Hotel. I'm with George Napolitano. I asked George the story. We're standing on top, looking out the window of the room. Here's this guy this big running across the bridge. There's 30,000 people, guys, on my line. You couldn't see the line. This guy's training for this match with me that night. It's this big, Jack Fernando. They were sold, who oh God only knows, for a 10,000 state building. It was insanity. Had a riot before we got in the building, a riot, getting ready to go. Back then, he wasn't in very good shape, so to them a draw was 30 minutes, thank God. But it's the easiest 30 minutes. There. The guy was 150 pounds he was at. But every time he hit me, ah, uh, boom. Oh, 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 Jack, Jack, Benio, Jack, Benio. so I, all I could tell you is they hit me, hit me. And they, every day anybody took a bump, he's got up, I did it for 30 minutes. He, but, but the crowd was insanity. His finish was a sleeper, right? So now it's going to be five seconds, four, three, arm down, the bell rings, right? Not a chance. Full scale riot. The referee's trying to give me the belt. I said, I don't want it. Don't hand it to me again, motherfucker. <laughs> I want to go with the dressing room. For three hours after the show, they tore the building down. Hmm. For now, of course, you can imagine Victor and Carlos, you got to come back, got to come back. And I go, I can't. So they pay me 10 grand to come back with a lot of money. I don't said under one condition. I need to bring somebody with me. Guess who I brought with me? Roddy. Roddy Piper. <laughs> so he was in between jobs. So Rick decides, yeah, hey, you want to come with me, you know, because I can't work in the United States. And he brings me to San Domingo. San Domingo is a country that's run by martial law. Uh, that the guy, I think his name was Jack Benitez, or something like that. What he did to train for this big fight for the world champion Rick Flair coming was he ran across the bridge like the whole country turned out. This is what we heard. Until we get there, you know, Roddy's, Roddy was hurting his back with bad. So some guy is sticking a needle in Roddy this big. Roddy, what the hell are you doing? And they're medicating Roddy with some kind of foreign pain medicine. I was scared to death. I don't mind telling you. Me and Roddy looking around the locker room with 20 guys, all of them looking at us like, we want to kill you. <laughs> you two white son of a bitch. Time to go. We come down. The, the president's son is in the crowd. And on one side and the other side are two guys with just swirls on their hats. You know, woo, here we go. So the match starts going, bing, 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 and the people are around. And Rick looks at me and says, you know, I mean, we're working with a smurf here. He says, pull the leg. Me being, you know, the straight up man I am, bah, you know, boom, he goes down. Holy shit, man. The little kid starts crying. The two guys with the swirlies get up and start packing their pistols. I cover them one, two, three. We got security, no problem, we'll fix, fix, no problem. Roddy tripped him, he had two guns in his head. Two guns, I'm not bullshitting you guys. From the hired security? No, this is, this, this, it's a military run country. But this is two guns from police that are into the show again and not doing their job, because they're fans, you know I mean? It was that crazy, Veneno Vene was over that strong. There's only one white man on the floor, me. And here they come with these sticks and chains, and I had learned, you know, the first thing you want to do in a riot is get a chair. Not to hit somebody with it, get it over your head. You know, and Rick, Rick was trying to keep the high ground there, and uh, I was kind of keeping the low ground, and it was so hot in that country, they didn't have windows, they just had awnings, and it was just big chunks of cement. And when we got back, the wrestlers there had stolen, uh, they had stolen my wedding ring, my watch, uh, some other stuff, and some stuff from Rick. And now uh, it's like two o'clock in the morning, they're still rioting outside, they're throwing these big hunks of concrete through the awnings. We're tucked in the corner, and Flair's got the balls to look at me and go, Don Perignon pipe? <laughs> no, I'm going to kill you, you mother. So I left the belt again. <laughs> we get back to the rest of the room back to their office and they took me and Roddy to a couple of really hot clubs we had a good time. But it was two days before Christmas and Roddy and I got so drunk. I mean, we, you know, just lucky to be alive drunk, you know, and we drank all night there, got on a plane, flew to Miami. So we landed in Charlotte and our wives were there and that's how we started our Christmas break. Needless to say, I didn't go back to San Domingo. There was no, not enough money to ever even go back. 
So Jack Vanetto beat me twice. 